Since many of you decided to do the unit assessments in Illuminate, I'm going to show you how to access the results and the different kinds of reports that you can get. So the first thing you do is sign into your um, Illuminate account and you're going to go to the tile that says view assessments and you'll click on that. Then what you'll do is you'll go to, you want to make sure that you're clicked on shared with me. And I already did this. Um, and then if you'd like to narrow it down to the test that you want to look at, I just put in the search, like if I was going to do an ELA, I'd put ELA. If I was doing math, I'd do math. You could even put U1, U2. Um, and then you're going to go right to the actual test that you want to see the results for. So I'm going to click on the sixth grade unit one assessment for ELA. And I click on that. And the first thing that you're going to see is a pie chart. And what that pie chart is telling you is which students are one read below grade level on this assessment, which students yellow are approaching grade level, and which students green are at grade level. And then when you scroll down, you'll see what the average score was, how many people got, you know, on this one it's 62.2%. Um, 65 students within this teacher's class were assessed and they want to know, well, how much was not mastered? 81.5% and 18.5% was. If you scroll down here, this will tell you by the standard and it'll tell you, this one says for RL 6.1, that 35 students did not master the um, standard whereas 30 did master the standard. So it goes by each standard. Not mastered is light blue, mastered is dark blue. When you go down to this screen, it says the lowest performing question. So these are the ones that the kiddos struggled with the most. And it'll tell you the percentage um, of the points that got earned for that actual question. So if you wanted to do a reteach, you could go into that question by clicking on the hyperlink next to it right here. And it pops up the actual question and you can go through and talk about it, um, talk about why, why is there a grammatical error here, and then go over the rationale down here. So it gives you an opportunity to reteach. You could even do a screenshot, put it into the Google Classroom or whichever um, platform you're using. And we're going to scroll down here. This gives you the subgroups and their achievements. So it's really interesting to see how each of the groups are doing. And you can kind of focus in on those kiddos that you need to um, really target on. Now I'm going to go up to the reports. So you go up to the top of the screen and you click on reports. And you're going to see a bunch of reports. And your screen will probably look like this when you sign in. You want to click on where do I start for teachers. And they have the teacher assessment report. And what's really cool is below this it says what does the data show. And you can click on that. And it gives each of the um, actual things that you're looking for in this report. Um, and then what kind of questions does the report answer. So if you're looking at um, how what's the percentage of students that performed um, at grade level, which ones performed at um, below grade level. So it kind of gives you a class over, overview. The student responses, they are going to give you the overall class performance by student. So you'll see what each student got. And they'll also show the responses for each one. And the questions that it might ask is, how did each one perform overall? Um, and it looks at the highest and lowest overall scores. The pivot table you won't be using until you do the unit two assessment because it's going to show growth of the student. So hold off on the pivot for unit one. The teacher peer comparison, it says um, that it says whole class and student level analysis of performance by attribute and standard. So it's telling you how do they do um, by the actual standard. And it might be like, okay, what is my class really strong in right now? What are they struggling with? The response frequency is one that I really like. I'm going to skip over here, though, to the matrix. The matrix report um, shows 
each student, how they performed, and where they're at on each question. So if they got it correct, if they're at grade level. Um, but let's go back to this response frequency report. So I'm going to open my report. And sometimes it can glitch a little bit. When I get to that point, I can filter out my kiddos if I want to, but I'm going to leave it just for sake of um, what I'm doing here. I'm gonna look down here, I'm gonna scroll down once again. It's gonna give me which questions um, they did, you know, they struggled with the most and which questions they were successful with. It will also go down here and you can see what their response was, and um, also it would you can click on it, like I had said before, let's try Q14. You can click on that one, and it's gonna give you the question itself. So it gives you all of the, um, the options that the students could choose from, and you can walk through it and ask the students, well, why, you know, why is this the correct answer? What does this mean? So you can also show the passage that they read in order to go through that. A great way to reteach what um, the students were struggling with on the test.